Hi, stroboscope. Right, now today I'm going to try and photograph a golf swing. Dun, 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 dun. And with any luck, we'll get a nice picture of that. Now, the important thing when doing stroboscope, stroboscope pictures is to have a black background. Now, that is very important because once, if it was white, the film is already exposed or the uh, picture is already exposed and when you get the movement you won't see anything so the background has to be as dark as possible and the best thing is black velvet very expensive uh, good black velvet and put the sheen in the right direction you'll get dead black but anyway we're not going to do it that way we're going to do it with just a back background like we're here two curtains it's going to need some retouching afterwards now another way of doing it is to separate the model or the subject a long way from the background but you need a big studio if you've got a nice dark night outside not a lot of moon you can do it outside as well and that will give you a lovely dark background so there's more ways than one of skinning a cat as they say for this we're going to be using a speed light um, canon 580 ex2 and this will enable me to do lots of flashes at the same time in, for example, one second. In this situation, I'll be doing 11 because I found 11 was a nice number of flashes uh, for the movement. Now, in one second, we'll let those 11 flashes go. Again, because I found one second was about right. Now, how do you get the exposure? Well, it's trial and error. That's the only way. So the f-stop is trial and error. The camera set on one second and in this case at f8 um, but I got that exposure just by trial the important thing with these flashes is to have it only lighting the background only lighting the subject and not the background so I zoomed this quite a lot just so it would give on to the subject let's get on with the rest so let's, how, let's see how the flash is set up for this um, now at the moment we're on ETTL, well, we've changed the mode and I've changed the mode to multi. Now multi allows me to get into this menu, the zoom um, and the power of the flash plus the frequency and the amount of flashes in the time. Now if I press the center button and, and revolve that I can change the number quite happily of how many flashes I'm going to give. Well, I'm going to give 11 flashes. Now, if this second one will tell me how many flashes in the period. So if I set to 11, it'll make it 11 flashes in one second. If I set that to 22, it'll be in two seconds. So it rather depends on the frequency. This, in fact, is what's called the frequency of the flash. And that's the number of flashes per second. Now I won't go any further into that because it's quite complex and you've all got your instruction books and it's different for every type of flash so that's just the Canon Speedlight. Now of course if we've got a black background it's obvious that the lighter the subject we've got the more it will show. Um, so it's useful as well to have either very bright colours or in white, that way boom boom and you'll see that a white glove gives out very well and reflections on metal give out very well so that's another thing you've got to think about oh it's a complicated business this photography right now I've got a golfer um, and what I'm going to ask her to do is just lift her club to that level or maybe that level, start the downswing and I'll take pictures as it comes down. So, to put a petit sir. So we'll just get her to try it and see. That's it. Now down. Yeah. Now I'm going to have exposure one second. So what's important is that my 20 flashes that I'm going to give it will happen in that one second. So that's going to take some rehearsal. Now you notice that she's dressed in black. Now why is she dressed in black? Well. Don't forget, anything that's not moving is going to get 11 flashes on it. So that'll make it uh, two flashes would be one stop overexposed, four flashes, two stops overexposed, eight flashes, three stops overexposed. So she'd be about three and a half, uh, no, 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 yeah, about three and a half stops overexposed. So you keep her as dark as possible because that way 
um, she won't be exposed. If she was in white, you wouldn't see any movement uh, of, the, of the hands or the club. So it's very important that you realise that if anything's not moving, it will be overexposed by three and a half stops in this situation. Very important thing. Now I raise the flash on the camera to fire the strobe light um, because I've set the strobe light to slave so that makes it easy. For this what I've got to do is be in the dark so I'll turn off the video lights um, and then uh, have the house lights and I'll show you with the house lights. Right now those are the video lights, oh, those are the video lights turned off, now this is the studio light. So I switch all the other lights off and we start the back swing, she's up in the back swing and okay down and I then shoot during the exposure like that. Now that's quite nice. Um, let's try it again. I'll try and put the feet. Voila. So I think we might have a picture there. Now, as you might imagine, they uh, took quite a long time. And this is, uh, here we see two pictures that have been retouched afterwards. The black has been reinforced. But I, I think they're quite fun, really. And it really is worthwhile making the effort to do the retouching. Now, here's another one, a bit of fun, me throwing a golf tee in the air. And this is where you can really see how the, the shirt is way overexposed by the three and a half stops. Now this one of course is two pictures put together, just again a bit of fun, um, it, but it again shows you what type of thing you can do. Well I hope you enjoyed that and I'd like to thank you for having subscribed, if you have, and uh, pushing like if you have, and I'd like special thanks to all those people that have bought stuff through my link to a well-known uh, well shop uh, on my on my quarter.com because it does help me finance these videos bye